Hey there, it's Bricks here from documentsnap.com and today's video is all about how to seed your crash plan backup to make the initial backup much faster. All right, so when I'm talking about seeding the crash plan initial backup, I'm not talking about what you see on the screen here, which is when you're using crash plan to backup to their online service, which is probably how most people do it, you can actually pay them to send you a hard drive, copy your files, and then you mail it back. So that is a great way to speed up the initial backup to their online service, which could take weeks or even you know a month if you have a ton of, of data. Uh, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about using crash plan a little differently to back up to another computer on your network or even another computer over the internet. That initial backup can take quite a while too. So one thing you can do is seed your initial backup, which means plug the hard drive into your computer do your backup, detach it, move it to the other computer, and then attach it. So I will take you through that step now. All right, so I'm here in the crash plan application and I'm here on the destinations tab. And what we want to do, if you don't already have this drive attached to your crash plan, what we want to do is we want to choose folders here. So I'm going to click there. And you can see I already have some drives uh, set up, but that's not what I'm going to be doing now. I'm going to be attaching a new drive. So I'm going to hit select. And I've got a ridiculous amount of drives hooked up to my, to my computer at the moment, but the one I want is called Backup 2. So we'll hit OK. And this is just what I use. And you can see here there's a long number that we're going to be using later, but you don't need to worry too much about it right now. Now, if this is your only backup and you've kind of got things set up the way you want, you can hit this start backup right here. Um, I'm not going to be doing that because I use my crash plan for a bunch of different things and I'm going to be doing a different test for this run. So I'm going to be starting in a slightly different way, but if you want to, you can uh, just hit start backup at this point. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly go to settings and because I'm a Crash Plan Plus member, I can do backup sets. And I have this new set called Test that we've just set up. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to choose what files I want to, to back up. So just because this is a quick little test, I'm just going to back up the contents of my desktop and hit OK. And now we, we assign the destination. So we hit Assign, and we choose our, our uh, folder that we just set up, our drive that we just set up, and hit OK. And this will, uh, you can configure the rest of the stuff if you want. We're not going to worry too much about that now. We're going to hit Save. And you can see here, when we did that, it's 100% completed. Obviously for you, that's going to take a lot longer because all I'm doing is backing up my desktop. But now we, have our, now we have our new backup drive attached to my computer. But that is not what we want to do. The whole point of this is to send it to another computer and attach it there. So we're going to do that now. All right, so we're here on looking at uh, my Mac Mini, another computer. And what I've done is I've plugged in the drive that I just moved over from my old computer. So you can see here that there's this folder right here. It looks like a bunch of garbage, but this is actually our crash plan backup that we just created on, on my MacBook Air. Now, it just so happens that these two computers are in the same network, but they don't have to be. I could have this on a, you know, my parents' computer at their house, a computer at the office, a friend's computer, anywhere online. Crash plan will be able to find it for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up the crash plan application. And you can see here, there's this inbound section here. And what I want to do is I'm going to click that little triangle here and choose Attach an Archive. And I'm going to go to my Backup to Drive. And I'm going to click this folder here and hit OK. And now it's telling me that it's found that I'm the owner. It's got 98 megs. I backed up nine minutes ago. And I'm going to hit OK. And it's successfully added the archive. And you can see down here that it's found my computer name, which is Sharenjay. And the backup is running. 
And so right now, it's connecting over the network to my computer, to my MacBook Air. And now you can see it's waiting for backup. It's done its last back backup two minutes ago. And if I go back to my computer, so let me drag this out of the way and bring my crash plan over. This is back on my computer. You can see here that now the destination is is Munich, which is the name of my Mac, Mac Mini, and it's got uh, it did its last backup. So it's all completed, and now my drive is attached to my Mac Mini. It will do regular backups to that, and I haven't had to do the initial huge backup over the network. Once you do this, it's a very easy process. For more Going Paperless tips, head on over to documentsnap.com. Thanks.